Some Volkswagen and Audi vehicles use an electromechanical parking brake, or EPB for short, for the parking brake system. A control module operates electric motors on the rear calipers to set or release the parking brake. With the EPB system, when it comes time to do rear brakes, a dealer level diagnostic scan tool, like VCDS, is used to fully retract the parking brake mechanism so the piston can be pushed back into the caliper. This video shows the steps involved to correctly do the rear brakes on these vehicles. Please read over the following. Do not perform any of these basic settings where the brakes are disassembled, opening and closing function tests, and otherwise cycling the electronic parking brake should only be done with the pads and calipers properly installed on the rotors. Please follow the procedures exactly. There's a reason for every step. If you skip any prerequisites or those steps here, you'd like to experience issues for which no documented resolution exists, in which case we will not be able to help you resolve them. It's strongly recommended to run a full auto scan first thing to check for any pre existing faults. There have been several reports of repair shops damaging the electronic parking brake system when trying to do the rear brakes, but not telling the customer to send the car out the door. Listen, folks. Doing the brakes on these cars is very simple. However, you must follow the instructions correctly. You can ignore this information if you want because you know what could possibly go wrong. Customers are not gonna pay for this. This is the second time. Is that all you gotta say? What else can I say? Why don't you learn how to do this for a change? All right, your parking brake control module is $399 list price. You know what would have been cheaper? That'd be $45.87. A battery charger is very important. The EPP module is very sensitive to low voltage conditions. It's critical that a battery charger is properly connected and used for the duration of the rear brake job. On some vehicles with battery management systems, you cannot connect the battery charger directly to the battery. The Audi A6 and the Audi A8, for example, if you connect directly to the battery, you will not have good system voltage. You'll have excellent battery voltage, but the system voltage for the EPB module will drop. On the Passat, you can directly connect to the battery with the charger. Man, I learned my lesson. After running a full auto scan and verifying there are no pre-existing conditions with the ABS or EPB module, set and release the parking brakes. Connect to the parking brake control module. Go into basic settings group 007 and click go. The parking brake motors will now operate. Fields 1 and 3 show the amp load of each parking brake motor. Note how the parking brake piston is not moving. Once the parking brake is fully retracted, the amp load will drop. Now wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. Some EPB modules have a firmware glitch in them that if a scan tool is used to operate the parking brake and you exit out of basic settings as soon as the motor stops, the EPB module could fail. After 30 seconds, click Done, Go Back, and then click Close Controller, Go Back. Now turn the ignition off. The pistons push in just like a front brake caliper. It is now safe to remove the calipers and perform the brake service. With the rear brakes fully assembled, pump up the brake pedal. Now turn the ignition on and connect to the parking brake control module. Go into basic settings group 006 and click go. The EPP module will close up the parking brake mechanism. Once the electric motors have stopped and the amp loads drop, wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. Then exit out of the parking brake control module. Now test the operation of the parking brake. Verify they set and release and that there are no parking brake warnings when the parking brakes are released. 
With some EPB modules, after closing the parking brake mechanism and then cycling the parking brakes, you may need to do a function test. You may also need to perform a function test if you have certain fault codes flagged. To do the function test, go into Basic Settings, Group Number 010, and click Go. The EPB module will now operate the parking brake motors through several cycles. Depending on the vehicle, this can take up to one minute. Once the motor stop operating, wait 30 seconds, then exit out of basic settings. The Audi A8 uses the EPB module to calculate brake pad thickness. When the brake pads get worn, it will display a warning on the instrument cluster and there may be a fault code 02596 rear brake pads worn stored in the EPB module. You must do an adaptation to let the EPB module know the thickness of the new rear pads and perform a function test. You need to know how many millimeters thick the friction material is of the rear pads. In the parking brake control module, go into adaptation 06 and click on read. Set the new value to the current thickness of the pads to the nearest millimeter. Click on test, then save, and confirm yes. For the function test, go back into basic settings, group 010 and click on go. The EPB module will cycle the parking brakes several times during this test. Once it stops, wait 30 seconds before exiting out of basic settings. You should now be able to clear out the 02596 rear brake pads worn code. Note on some of the earlier Audi A8s with the EPB modules, it may take a few adaptation and function test tries before the code can be cleared out and the pad thickness worn on the instrument cluster goes away. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I can't, that was good, actually. <laughs>